Hello peoples, what is up everybody? David here for another Vlogity Vlog and I hope that every single one of you is having a wonderful day. And I was thinking the other day, majestically, because that's important. Majestically, I was thinking the other day, out of all the cars I've been around, because I'm around a lot of them, because for my career and everything, what car company is kind of the most special? Like what really pops out to everybody? Like when you think in your mind, what is the number one brand that is like, wow, every time you hear about it. A perfect example of this was, I was at Cars and Coffee Richmond, Virginia recently. And there was a beautiful, beautiful Ferrari 458 there. And I went up and I said hi, and I was like, nice Ferrari 458, it's beautiful, and so on and so forth. And yeah, people would walk by, kind of check it out, and keep walking. People have different tastes and bounds in this culture. And I think what was really, really evident of this was when a Lamborghini Super Trofeo pulled in. It was one of the last Gallardos they made, if not the last one, excuse me if I'm wrong. And it pulled in and the entire Cars and Coffee meet just went <laughs> Everyone's neck broke, everyone. And everybody flocked towards it to get a good look at it. Now, how many other car brands gotta do that? And that's why, in my personal opinion, I think when it comes to being special, I'm not saying like all around greatness or anything, but when it comes to being special, I think Lamborghini might hold the crown for that. Even non-car people know the Lamborghini name. And so when they see one, they always whip out their phone. They always do that. Same could be argued for Ferrari, but there's just something about Lambo to me that is just so bonkers that when I hang out with somebody like Dr. M3 and I see his Lamborghini Huracan or Aventador next to a Ferrari 458, I go, what Ferrari? It's not because of how they drive. It's just appearance and just the soul and the sound too. So yeah, I know it sounds like I'm just arguing about two Italian legends, but I mean, that's why supercars are supercars. They make people's day. Does that mean to me that only those are special? No. So today I figured I would talk about what makes each kind of car brand special. I'm not gonna go over all of them as a disclaimer, but once I kind of pop out in my head, and after this, you can say in the comments below, what is the most special car brand to you? What did you grow up thinking? What was your favorite brand? What was your family's favorite brand? You know, that all plays a part. For me, it was Lamborghini because of games like Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2 and that sort of thing. You know, seeing a Diablo on your wall or a Murcielago on your wall, that was like something magical. And you know, with companies like Pagani coming out now with these totally bonkers and beautiful pieces of artwork, essentially, they they're trying to get in the special car game too, which they already have in my opinion. Before we go back up to the supercars, let's go down some. Companies like Ford at Le Mans beat Ferrari four times in a row in the GT40. So it's like, oh, so it's not just performance then. It's funny because cars like the Ford GT is one of those cars where it doesn't really matter what car brand you love, almost everyone will agree that that is a good car and it's a good looking car. Whether you're a Chevy or a Japanese fan or whatever you are, Chevy has changed the game of the industry as well with their LS motors. That's something special about Chevy. LS motors are one of the most popular motors ever because they're bulletproof, they sound good, they run good, and they make great power. And people put them in everything. And that's why a lot of people almost feel like they're played out. I don't think so, because I understand why people do it. But that's an example of why people think Chevy is special. It could have been family heritage. It could have been like, we're a Chevy family. Just like if somebody was a Dodge or a Ford family. They're special in that way. What about companies from the Far East, like Japan? I mean, you have Nissan, which is just an absolutely fun brand if you think about it. All of the Nissan 240s, the S13, S14, S15, all that fun stuff. I know when I think about a car, I just want to get in and just slide around in and be stupid in, I think 240SX. I'm pretty sure the takedown 240 proved that point. It was just silly and bonkers. Meanwhile, I go over to a pretty intense, clean RB25 240, and it was just as fun in a different way. And then, all of a sudden, out of left field, they come out with a super high-tech car called the R35 GTR, and you're like, 
well that's kind of different from what they released, isn't it? And then you have companies like Honda, where you have the NSX, the S2000, shoot, even hatches when they're built to crap are pretty damn cool. And then you got the complete opposite of the spectrum. You got the German cars, which are very refined and quiet inside, but at the same time very fast. And then you have the legendary Porsche 911, which has virtually looked almost unchanged for all of these years and people still love it because it drives so well. God, I gotta review a 911 eventually. I would love to review a 911. Brands have power, they really do. One good car from a brand can change your entire perspective about it. I'm sorry, but I hate to say it, but when the Coyote came out for Ford, it totally changed my mindset on Ford, like 100%. Yes, I owned two Mustangs before that, but I knew they weren't fast or quick. The Coyote completely changed the game in my opinion for them and then they released ridiculously fun cars like the Fiesta ST and the Ford uh, Focus ST and those are like this is the same company so it's very interesting to see how companies evolve Hyundai Kia they even have good-looking cars now the Genesis sedan is one of the nicest cars in the market right now what makes a car special is almost all in perception it's all what your goal is it all what how it makes you feel I said Lamborghini because of how it makes me feel I feel like a little kid and when I hear the sound of a just tuned or even whatever twin turbo or any kind of Lamborghini it's just goosebumps Kona's egg is either tied with Lamborghini for me, the Agera R, or the one to one, whatever is your favorite. I personally think the Agera R looks better. I know it's not as fast, but you know what I mean. But the Agera R is my absolute favorite car of all time. Uh, yeah, 100%. If you've never watched Inside Kona's Egg on Drive Network, I highly recommend it because it totally rethinks your mind of what even you can do because the guy Christian von Kodazek started the company at age 22 and he they do these amazing cars I mean all in-house I mean even their wheels that are withstanding over 270 miles an hour you can pick up with his pinky because they did this special carbon fiber tech brands and cars push each other to be the best and that's what I love that's what I love about this culture. I love this culture because of the innovation and the spirit. The more you think about it, it's just like, wow, we never know what's coming next. It's kind of like the new FT1, AKA kind of the new Supra. I remember when a bunch of us saw the FT1, we were like, well, that came kind of out of nowhere, or it was about time, and everyone was freaking out, like, I wonder if it's going to be better than 2JZ, but we don't know yet, now do we? But that's a special moment for us. We anticipate, and then when the car comes out, it either is amazing or it disappoints us. It's kind of like a movie, you know? It's kind of like when you go into a movie thinking it's gonna give you high hopes or the low expectation, then you come out either going, that was awesome, I'm gonna go watch that on Netflix or buy it on Blu-ray, or it's, I never wanna see that movie again. So this video is mostly to kind of get you thinking, and I really wanna hear your guys' opinion. So the question of the day is, what is your favorite car brand? Why, and why is it special to you? Here's all my social media up on this screen right here. Thank you all so much for watching this quick little video, and I will see you guys next time, and take it easy. Have a good one. Vlog.